Hello and welcome to Long COVID Foundation podcast. My name is Dr. Valentina Viduta and I'm Long COVID Foundation trustee. This channel is for Long COVID sufferers, researchers, practitioners, and a whole host of other people who want to learn more on COVID. The Long COVID Foundation aims to find the best rehabilitation solutions for Long COVID sufferers. We put our efforts and knowledge to find the early treatment for long COVID sufferers to save more lives and make your life happier. We rely on your donations, so please support our channel. Please support our foundation. The link for your donations is in the description. Thank you. Today's discussion will be on cardiology. All your questions will be answered today, so please stay tuned, watch it, like it and subscribe. Hello and welcome to our Long COVID Foundation podcast. And today we have cardiologist consultant, Dr. Vasilio Vasilio, who is a cardiologist consultant at Norfolk and Norwich University Hospitals. So it's my pleasure to have you here and uh, give you our questions from long COVID sufferers who deal with heart-related issues on a daily basis. So it's my pleasure to give you this option to share your knowledge with us and all the sufferers. So the structure of today's podcast is going to be quite simple. So we're going to start with a general discussion on uh, your experience with long COVID sufferers in terms of heart and what do you see are uh, the concerns and what needs to be treated and uh, research areas that might be expanded to. And uh, we're going to end with three of our questions from long COVID sufferers that uh, have to you today. So I pass it on to you. So tell a little bit more about yourself. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you for, for the invite. I'm, um, I'm a senior lecturer at the University of East Anglia and a consultant cardiologist at the Norfolk and Norwich uh, University Hospital. So um, my main research is both clinical and basic science using imaging and investigating heart rhythm and valvular abnormalities as well as coronary artery disease. And of course, um, with COVID, um, a lot of the, the research at the very beginning had to stop all the clinical research. There was a halt, and therefore my whole research group, uh, we took on to doing um, research on, on COVID, uh, both in the acute phase and now uh, more towards the, uh, the long phase of COVID, the long COVID. Um, and therefore, uh, thank you very much for the invite to, to talk. Uh, about a few things in relation to, to long COVID, really. So uh, what are general issues with heart and long COVID from your experience? So what are main signs, how you identify whether it's long COVID? What is uh, post-viral signs on heart? Yes, this can be... Uh, quite difficult in all honesty with you. Um, I think the first thing to say is that um, the National Institute of Health and, and Care Excellence has defined long COVID after a period of 12 weeks. And therefore, this is what we're currently using in order to determine whether somebody has long COVID. Um, and the symptoms that specifically might indicate um, that the heart uh, is affected in cool, include feeling your heart going very fast or very, very slow, feeling palpitations, and um, having chest pains, having breathlessness uh, predominantly. Um, and, and, and also to a degree, um, you're feeling a lot more exhausted than you were before. Now, this does not necessarily mean it's a problem with the heart, but it simply means there is something that has changed from before the COVID infection and therefore uh, might worth further uh, investigation. Mm 